With the assistance of an experienced New York divorce attorney, a couple may be able to utilize specific grounds to file for a divorce in New York. Divorces in New York can be divided into broad categories, divorce through separation, fault-based divorces, and no-fault divorces. Divorce through separation, involves having filed a legally binding separation agreement or petitioning for a court-ordered judicial separation. At fault or fault-based divorces, usually involve abandonment, imprisonment, or cruel and inhuman treatment. No-fault divorces, can stem from such things as irreconcilable differences. Being separated is not a requirement for a no-fault divorce. However, the couple is required to resolve matters such as the distribution of assets and liabilities, child support and custody, etc. Sexual incompatibility and divorce. Sexual incompatibility can lead to divorce in and of itself but it can also be a factor in other leading causes of divorce. Aside from abusive behavior and marital infidelity, the rest of the causes of divorce in this list are considered no-fault grounds for divorce in New York. Marital infidelity. One of the leading causes of divorce in the U.S. is marital infidelity or cheating on your spouse. According to a study by the Institute for Family Studies, 16% of people who are married or who have been married before admit to cheating. Additional statistics from the American Psychological Association show that up to 40% of divorces in the U.S. are due to infidelity. While the reasons why a spouse is unfaithful can vary, one of the most common is sexual incompatibility with the person they married. Abusive behavior. Regardless if you are married or not, consent still needs to factor into a relationship. Spousal rape is a kind of domestic violence that often flies under the radar due to the fact that many people expect sex as a result of being married. Studies suggest that men and women have almost the same rates of victimization of sexual violence perpetrated by their spouse or a person they live together with. Victims of marital rape are also more socialized to accept the abuse and therefore are less likely to report instances of sexual violence committed by their spouse. Lack of preparation for marriage. Relationship experts are of the opinion that America's obsession with marriage is one of the leading causes of why people end up in marriages where people are sexually incompatible. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, 9% of Americans in their 30s have already divorced at least once in their lifetime. The societal pressure to be married before 30 often contributes to individuals settling for someone they feel would be a good wife or husband or a good mother or father to potential children. While those are great qualities for someone you'd build a family with, some people may find it difficult to reconcile that their spouse can't also be an ideal lover. Lack of intimacy. It may sound like a circular argument to say that lack of intimacy can lead to sexual incompatibility. However, lack of intimacy can stem from a number of factors including spending too much time taking care of children or at work. A person who has a higher libido than their spouse may feel that their needs aren't being met in the relationship. Poor communication. Not being able to properly communicate with your spouse can have a negative effect on almost every aspect of your relationship. Poor communication can make a couple passive-aggressive with each other, or worse, openly hostile. Sexual incompatibility can result from not being able to communicate your wants, needs, and expectations from your partner. What should you do if you and your spouse are sexually incompatible? When spouses find themselves sexually incompatible, they typically don't immediately consider getting a divorce. Most couples undergo couples therapy or counseling and sex therapy and find that it helps their relationship. However, if you have tried other fixing the issue of being sexually incompatible with your spouse, it may be time to move on from the marriage. Contact us today to schedule a free consultation. Call 212-537-5859 or fill out our online form.